Have you ever noticed that most towns and cities have a river running through them? That's because human beings need water to survive. We use water from rivers in everything we do, from drinking, to growing food, to making things, and even for transport. There is a good chance that the water from your tap comes from a river. Unfortunately, rivers are also an easy place to dump our waste, which means they can get polluted. So what types of pollution are there? There is household pollution, agricultural pollution, and industrial pollution. Factories often use hazardous chemicals that can end up in our rivers. Take your favorite pair of jeans. They didn't start life blue. They had to go through a dyeing process to give them their color. Sometimes, to remove the excess dye, washing detergents containing nonophenol etoxylates are used. Chances are that once used, these chemicals are disposed of into the river with the wastewater from the factory. Though they may not be visible to the naked eye, these chemicals can be very harmful for life in and around the rivers. They can end up at the bottom of the rivers where many organisms live. If fish in the river eat these organisms, some of the hazardous chemicals can be passed into them. If we in turn end up eating the fish, these bad chemicals can end up inside of us. In the fish, these chemicals can cause mutation, diseases, or even lead to declining numbers. For us, these chemicals have many negative effects from causing cancer to disrupting our hormone system. So they are certainly not something you want to eat or drink. And the problem doesn't end there. Once these chemicals end up in the river, it is often impossible to get rid of them and they can even break down into more poisonous chemicals. What's the answer? We all love wearing our nice jeans. So, the only way to stop harming the river is for factories to replace the hazardous chemicals with safer ones. Safer for the environment and safer for us. If you want to know more about industrial pollution in our rivers and how to stop it, go to www.greenpeace.org water.